You know, we've raised the funds in the month of September and now we've got our talent spotters, our three uh, ex Bafana players, Neil Shoes and Phil, and then um, we've got nine other really good players, player coaches that are in the regions now. And we're going to the, the provinces around the country and we're looking for, uh, you know, from the SAB League, we've already scouted a thousand players and this weekend we're going to be looking at another thousand. For every beer that we sold in the month of September, we made a contribution to a fund to, to, to raise uh, the, the money towards the project. And now Neil and his team are going to work with those funds to get around the country and to obviously set up the training clinic in, uh, in January in Stellenbosch and Pretoria University. Well, I mean, there's two aspects to it. Obviously, we've got to help try and find the best players. Uh, you know, and as I said earlier, stats are not the only thing that we have to look at. We have to actually look at the player. We have to look at his home conditions. We have to look at his physical attributes. And the coaches have to t may take a very important role doing that. Um, that's, that's the one aspect. The other aspect is actually expose the players to the professional environment. So, as I, as I mentioned, many of the PSL teams are working with data and video on a daily basis. Not just the, the technical teams, but also the players. The players are coming off the field and saying, how did I perform? Did I really perform at the level that I did last week? Let me actually go and compare. And by exposing the young players to that at youth development, by the time they get to senior team level, they can perform so much better. It's new, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to not identify all the talent. We realize that. There is going to, there is going to be talent that's going to be slipped through our fingers. That's not the process. It's just about giving, uh, creating dreams for, for, for fourth-tier players amateur players because that's what they are uh, a dream of maybe one day you know one day they might be packing shelves in in a, in a supermarket and the next day they could be uh, rubbing themselves and training with uh, with Teka Madisi who knows and that's what we're trying to create and if we can get one out of them we're not saying that and hopefully uh, what I hear is going to be ongoing process so it's not going to be a one-off process so we will be improving the situation improving the uh, this program from year in and year out hopefully we will get the correct people in in place and get them going into the professional setup. If we can get one going in the first year, we'll be done a wonderful. Uh, we appreciate our partner Safa launching a development agency, but we are ahead of the game with them uh, in, in, in our SAB League. Uh, we want to uh, um, talk by action. So action speaks louder than words. As a business um, that is renowned for its distribution um, uh, capabilities across the country, we want to use that expertise into football by ensuring that we cover all the ground of South Africa to try and find talent with our ambassadors.